Hello friends, let's discuss about DNA replication. DNA replication is a process in which two identical molecules of DNA are produced from one single molecule of DNA. Now let's see how this process This process of DNA replication is divided into three stages. Initiation, elongation and termination. Let us see these what happens in initiation is if this is the DNA molecule which has to be replicated what happens is there will be initiator proteins which will try to identify the region in the DNA molecule that is from which that that region is that region is known as region of replication and that region from that region the replication actually starts so initiator proteins will recognize that origin of replication and bind to that region. After binding to that region, they will recruit other proteins to come and bind to that region. After these other proteins have bind to that region, these proteins will help the DNA molecule to get separated. The strands, as you can see here, they get separated. And these proteins are nothing but this is known as helicase. Helicase is used to unwind the two strands. Why it unwinds the strands? Because oh, these strands will guide for the synthesis of new strands. So this is all about the initiation of... Now let's see the next step, elongation. In elongation what happens is, the, as in the initiation the two strands have been separated, so in elongation the DNA polymerase will add the DNTPs. The DNTPs are added from 3' prime to 5' prime. 5 prime direction and it reads the DNA molecule from 3 prime to 5 prime direction but adds the DNTPs from 5 prime to 3 prime direction and the direction of DNA polymerase is just from 5 prime to 3 prime that because of that only here it will keep on adding continuously it will keep on adding but here the direction is reversed so it won't be adding continuously whereas the addition of DNTP will be discontinuously. Now, in order to add the DNTP, the DNA polymerase needs three prime hydroxyl group. So that three prime hydroxyl group is created by RNA primer. This primer is made up of RNA, RNA, and RNA polymerase will synthesize this RNA primer, which will give three prime hydroxyl free end for the DNA polymerase. And from that free end, it will keep on adding the DNTPs. And here in the lagging strand, why it is lagging? Because the direction of DNA polymerase, polymerase is reversed. And hence, this, this strand is lagging all the time. And it needs many RNA primers to synthesize the uh, new DNA strand. After the strands have been synthesized, now these strands, these RNA primers have to be removed and the gaps have to be sealed. So this process takes place in the termination phase. Let's see the termination phase. What happens in termination is RNA primers are degraded by RNA's edge and the gaps are filled by deoxyribonucleotide and gaps are sealed by ligase. This is all about replication.